As a new print on demand seller, it is really easy to give up, get burned out and fail in this business model, especially within that first year. I have made many mistakes in my own business on print on demand, but I've also learned a thing or two about what it takes to survive in this business, as well as outlast a lot of other new sellers. Way too often, I'm seeing sellers fall off the wagon before they've really even gotten started. But time and time again, I see that those that are having success are doing one thing over and over, over a long period of time, which is leading to them growing their business and ultimately making a lot of profit month after month. I'm gonna use a visual like this to explain the cycle that a lot of print on demand sellers start getting themselves into. You might have seen this as the four stages of competence in psychology or some other business models, but it's really applicable, especially here to print on demand sellers. When you start out on this print on demand journey, you are right here in this cycle in the unconsciously incompetent stage. You still have that beginner excitement, but you are blissfully unaware of what you don't already know. This is a really exciting stage because a lot of times print on demand sellers who are here have so much momentum. Maybe they've watched tons of videos about this business model. They've weeded through a lot of other side hustles that they wanted to try and they've really landed on this one and they're willing to go all out, give it their all and make this thing work for themselves. You are so excited to get going, but you're still really unaware of how much you don't know about how everything actually works. You might be trying a ton of different ideas, a lot of different strategies that you're seeing, and maybe you're having a little bit of success, or maybe you're just trying a bunch of things and nothing really seems to be sticking or working or growing your business like you think it should be. You don't yet know what you don't know. After some time, it could be a few days, a few weeks, or even a few months in this business, you start to realize, all of the things that you don't know and that you're going to need to learn. There's everything from what sites are the best to sell on, how to write a good title, what goes into a great description, what do you have to do for a good design, what are those best research tools, how to optimize your SEO, what are the trademark laws, what are content policies, and so much more that you're going to have to start learning. There are so many factors that go into building a successful print-on-demand business and you start to begin to realize how big this thing actually is. This is where you start moving into that second stage of this competence journey where you're now consciously incompetent. You're aware of everything that's out there and how much you're going to have to learn. This can actually be the most dangerous place for a new print on demand seller to be. This is really where I see the most people starting to give up on this journey. They realize how much they have to do, how much work this is going to take, and how much they're going to have to grow and learn to actually build a business that's going to make them profit month after month. Here, there are really two paths that I see people taking that are both leading to failure when they get to this point in their journey. The first option is you realize there's a lot of stuff you don't know and a lot of stuff you still need to learn, but you decide to keep sticking with what you've already been doing because you're familiar with it and because it's easy and you're just hoping that one of your designs, one of your products is going to randomly take off and that is going to be the thing that's catapulting your business into success. The second option I see a lot of new sellers fall into is that they start realizing how much they don't know and they become terrified and paralyzed for even moving forward. They realize, I don't know how to make a perfect design. I really don't know how to write a perfect description. And they start watching video after video, trying to learn everything they can before they even start moving forward. So they are just paralyzed, trying to learn everything that they don't know, but they're not taking any steps to actually move the needle in their business. Now, if you're a new seller at this point, you have a one critical decision to make, and that is whether you are going to decide to keep moving forward. So what are your next steps that you're gonna take once you decide you're going to move forward? I want you to start pinpointing the areas that you know you need to work on, and you are going to be dedicated to working on a particular skill set while at the same time still making uploads, still making new designs, and still researching and finding products that you can be selling simultaneously while learning more about this business model. If I 
I were you, I would choose the weakest point of your skill set and spend all of your time and effort trying to improve that before moving on to something else. When I first started my print on demand business, I was coming from more of a graphic design background. So while there was still a lot I needed to learn about making good designs for print on demand, that wasn't the weakest area of my business. Where I had a lot of weakness was in researching and finding those low competition niches. So that is where I spent all of my efforts at first is improving that part of my business and then leaving those other things to work on down the road. The amazing thing about this is if you just choose one skill set that you're going to work on for the next few weeks and spend all of your efforts just learning about that and improving that with every single listing, you're going to find that all of your skills are going to start to improve because everything is so interconnected in this business. If you are dedicated to just making better designs, in order to upload those designs, you're going to need to research, you're going to need to write titles and descriptions. So if you spend the next 20 products you're uploading just dedicated to making each design a little bit better, you're going to find that you're probably going to learn a little bit about researching, about titles, about descriptions, SEO, and all of those things while you're working on one skill set, just making everything else in your business start to improve a little as well. Once you feel comfortable that you've mastered some of those skills, move on to your next weakest link. You can find tons of videos even here on my YouTube with how to improve certain skill sets in your print on demand business, but there's also many more resources than just me here on YouTube that you can watch and learn a lot from. But the important thing is that even while you're learning, you are not stopping posting your designs and getting new products uploaded daily, even if you feel like you don't know everything yet. If you just have a few hours a week to work on your business, it's really easy to waste all of that time watching tutorials and videos on print on demand. So make sure you're just learning the exact next thing that you need to be able to post and then implementing that and getting more products uploaded uploaded, then moving on to the next thing. Next, we are moving on to the next stage in this journey, which is going to be conscious competence. At this point, you should start to feel that you are mastering some of the tools of print on demand and you're starting to have some success in your business, whether that means making sales every single month or every single day. And you should be able to start learning from yourself too. You can kind of feel what is going to work and what is not going to work and learn from that as well. All the skills for making a good print on demand product might not exactly come quite natural yet, but you do know exactly what you're gonna need to do to find a good niche, to research, to write great SEO and to make a good design. Even if you have to have a little bit of help along the way, you know what it takes to make a successful product. And then now we're moving into the fourth stage of this journey, which is going to be unconscious competence. Everything is starting to become more natural for you. You've been forming those daily habits of uploading new designs. So things like writing descriptions and titles and making designs are coming really naturally to you without even having to think about it or look up a lot of tutorials while you're doing it. You can easily tell if a niche is going to do well for you or a design is maybe going to take off and you really know each step in the process that you're going to have to take to be able to reach some of your business goals. However, this also can be a bit of a dangerous point for sellers when they finally have some of that unconscious competence, when they start to feel like they know everything. I see a lot of older sellers that are trying to do the exact same thing that they've been doing for years and then all of a sudden that is not working for them anymore. Anymore. So it's super important, even when you reach the point where things start to become natural to you in your business, that you are still staying a student of print on demand because it's always changing and there are always new things to learn. So you're basically staying in this same cycle where you find new skills all the time that you don't yet know, and you're going to go through the process of trying to master those and implement those into your own business. You have another critical decision to make at this point, and this is to decide if you're going to continue to to learn and grow your print on demand business as things evolve and change because we've already seen it change so much in the last few years and I don't anticipate that stopping anytime soon. There are also many other detrimental mistakes that you can make in your print on demand business. So that's why I'm going to recommend you watch this video next. I'm going to break down some of the things that I wish I knew and some of the mistakes that I want you guys to avoid so you can make a lot more progress a lot faster than I ever did in my own print on demand business. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.